Scottish driver has not yet had a turn at the wheel. On board with the Mercedes, Bushu, a winner remarkably the first time he ever came to the ball. He moves out of the slipstream of the Toyota and the car just takes off. That's a big impact. Return to the scene of the accident. First time. It's got to be where all those wee trees are, eh? Oh, wait, you've not been there. Here we go. God, the Mercedes has taken off. That's Peter Dumbreck at the wheel of the number five Mercedes. The car flew right up in the air. But that's a big impact. So it's not far it's before, the, the it's a bit further then, it's a bit further. Get in here from here. In the Mercedes garage. Oh, you've given me a shiver yeah. watching oh. that. But how do you feel? I'm, I've never felt like I've been in that car. It's never felt like it's, I, I, I don't attach anything to it. It's just, it's this car flying through the air. I, I don't, I don't remember any of it. Do you remember what happened after that moment? No, it's all a blur. Uh, I remember being... People coming to you? No, I don't remember that. I remember being in a stretcher, being put into an ambulance. So I guess they lifted me out onto the track again. But, yeah, I don't... I just remember being a bit scared for a second, thinking, am I paralysed? Did you? I, yeah, I was, I was oblivious to the fact that I'd, I'd... Flown through the air. Yeah, or even landed in the trees. I just knew I'd had a crash. But did you sort of feel like it was taken off like an aeroplane, or what was the sensation of that? No, just the sky. Just, I, I saw, it was kind of twilight, and I just saw the sky, and I thought, ah, I know what's happening here. <gasps> I remember walking back in towards our motorhome because I was going to the physio and in your motorhome which was directly opposite there was a huge big TV and I just saw it on the television. I was like, oh. yeah. I'll tell you, it, it took the breath out of me. Yeah, I remember the, the lap or so leading up mm. to it and seeing the Toyota ahead mm -hmm. and right. of course we'd had information, we'd had a briefing, let's say, that you couldn't get close to any other cars and um, because of the slipstream. Yeah. And I'd come over the rise at Maltzan and I, I remember distinctly pulling out and, to get and thinking, well, I'm, I'm quicker than, I'm catching him. And how do I pass him without yeah. getting close to him? And I'm thinking about all of this. And I remember taking a lot out of him on the brakes into Maltzan, but he pulled away again. And as I pulled out the corner, and he, you know, the concertina effect. I thought, okay, I, I, that's far enough, surely that's far enough. I, I, I should be able to go flat all the way down, uh, you know, through the kinks, no, no issue. Mm. And then before I knew it, the car was up in the air. Was it yeah. um, interesting to come here yeah. today? Yeah, I, I don't know, I, I, I suppose, I mean, obviously I've, I've done a lot of laps by yeah, here yeah. at 200 mile an hour and whatever. <laughs> and not giving it much thought. With 22 20. years passing, it's very difficult to see where I would have landed. Just think how, how I don't know wh what time before they, they took them down, they did their logging, but probably what, a month before, a few weeks before? It and was within the same year, yeah. Yeah. And the previous year there was trees here. Yeah, and wow. so... They clear fell them, yeah. So I landed in that gap. I didn't which, know that. Which I could have easily not landed in that gap and landed straight into a bunch of big, thick trunk trees. And they don't give way, do they? No. Lots of things went my way that day. <laughs>